Hi, I'm Teresa Coward at MyBodyMyImage.com and I'm sitting here with Catherine Cabine of Catherine Cabine and Dancers and she's going to be performing at Joy Soho um, this week actually, May 12th through the 14th and we're going to be talking about her and her work and how the body is used in her work. So first of all, you're based in Seattle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the company's three years old. Mm -hmm. And what made you start your own company because you were with, of course, working backwards with Bill T. Jones and previously with Martha Graham. Um, so what made you want to start your own company? Um, well, I started my company immediately after graduate school and um, I had moved out to Seattle to go to graduate school at the University of Washington and they have a really wonderful interdisciplinary program. So to get a master's in dance, you actually take classes in anything other than dance and bring that information back to your work in dance. And um, I met a lot of really exciting people in philosophy, women's studies, art history, digital media, music, um, sort of all these other fields. And we had these really wonderful conversations while I was in graduate school um, about all of these different avenues of the mind. And then because I'm a dancer, how those interests and ideas come back to the body. And I got really interested in making collaborative work with these people where we would use the body, my body in particular, as a sort of intersection for all of our ideas about um, humanity and relationships and time and space and all those sort of base elements mm -hmm. of choreography and choreographic work. Um, also, I had spent, um, I spent over a decade working with Bill C. Jones and I've been training in the gram technique since I was 15. And um, those two aesthetics are, in many ways, completely opposite of yes. one another. Um, and in many ways, they are both extremely emotional and extremely bound, and they mm -hmm. do have that in common. But they're also, you know, Graham is sort of the poster child of modernism, and Bill is sort of the poster child of postmodernism. Right. So I find myself, in terms of my personal experience, at this really interesting juncture, and my own work is my way to make sense out of that juxtaposition and sort of put my own um, best effort forward at what the next step might be. And physically, how does that, how, how, what is that? What is that baby? What is that child? Oh, it's Move aggressive. <laughs> um, in looking at your work, I, I, there's a couple things that came to me. I was like, wow, this is really architectural at moments. Um, and then I also felt, or I also saw a real sort of connection between the body and space. It's almost like the body in negative space. Mm -hmm. So that, that architectural sort of structure is highlighted. You know, there's a clarity to it um, that I found really beautiful and and simple in a spirit, like an eye spirit sort of way. Like you know, so you see certain things that calms you. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of like that. You go like, wow, and you get to take it in. Mm -hmm. It's really amazing. Nice. So, do, is is that a part of it? The architecture, because that's very grand esque mm -hmm. thinking about architecture. Mm -hmm. Is that a part of of your process? Certainly, and I think um, I think that that comes from um, the gram aesthetic that I've worked in. Bill T. Jones also, although he's postmodern, is certainly a formalist. Right. So that sort of formal relationship to space um, has informed my work. But also, I think the collaborations that I get into inform that as well. Um, a couple of the pieces on the, this program, segments in particular, um, I, dealt, I worked with a lighting designer who created a very clear architectural shape in space in which the dance was right. channeled into. Um, I, when I work with live musicians, 99% um, of the time have them in the space, and then they sort of create an anchor around which the, the rest of the dance has to you know, have a conversation right. um, and, and live. So I, those sort of elements that are other than myself affect the choreography. Right, and inform it. Yeah. Um, and also, I think that one of my favorite things about being a dancer is that it is a social occupation. It is a social activity. Even as a solo artist, right. I have a technical director, I have costume designers, I have musicians, I have need audiences, there are right. you know, these people involved. And that sense that you're engaging in something larger than yourself is so rewarding. And that's absolutely why I'm still dancing and making my own work. So then the actual work tr tries to reach out into right. that space and, and definitely be uh, bigger than myself.